Hello, my beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, collective, um, before we get started into your reading, I kind of want to play like a little kid here and show you all the decks that I'm giving away for Valentine's Day. Yay! Um, yes, this is the Valentine's Day giveaway. It's coming up. We're already in February. Um, and the decks that I have to give away are the Pulp Tarot, really awesome, vintagey, cool deck. We've got the Nightmare Before Christmas deck. Who wouldn't want this one? You know, it's super fun. We've got um, the Easy Tarot. This one is really good. If you're learning how to read tarot, it spells everything out on the cards for you. It's just called the Easy Tarot. Uh, we've got another chance to win the Cat Tarot as well, super popular, and we have a chance to win the Lightseer's Tarot deck. This is one of the most popular decks in Tarot Land, really good for intuitive readers, okay? So five fabulous decks are going to five lucky winners on Valentine's Day. If you're interested in entering to win one of these decks, all you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel and type in the name of the deck you want to win in the comment section below. And then on Valentine's Day, you guys pop in with the channel. I'm going to announce the lucky winners on Valentine's Day. I, I really hope you guys take part in the giveaways because <laughs> they're so much fun for me. I'm totally like a little kid when it comes to this stuff. And I, I wanted to give some of the love back, you know, on Valentine's Day. Show you guys I love you. So um, good luck. I hope you win. Okay. And uh, now let's get started with your reading. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I thought I'd start with some oracle cards for your reading today, seeing what your energy is like right now. And then we'll jump into the love portion, you know. Um, anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I love you guys. Look, your energy is beautiful. Um, something is blooming for you. Like, I just feel like um, maybe you're coming into, like, your own personal style. Maybe in the past, I feel like you've tried to, like, fit in with other people or maybe just blend in with the crowd or something but now something inside you is blooming like you're blooming okay um maybe embracing a new style or just showing people who you really are um i love this energy because it feels so free like you don't have any kind of confines you know no restrictions on yourself so you're just let you're just showing yourself to other people it's a it's a very peaceful energy as well okay and you found your path like you know who you are and you're expressing that okay do you see what i'm saying you know exactly who you are you know the path that you're on you know what you can do and you're letting it all out like you know um just shining my past does not limit me. What did I say? Um, you don't feel those restrictions, confines, so you, no limitations. Um, I am the flower that grows from my roots, stretching towards sunlight. In the light, I blossom. Yeah, see, and that's what it is. You're, um, it's almost like you, you could even be in the spotlight, um, but whatever it is, you're just shining, okay? And people are starting to notice this. Um, you're showing your true authentic self out here, um, your true style. Like, you know, honestly, the other day, you guys, it's kind of like this. You know, I used to kind of wear like sweatshirts, you know, I wanted to kind of blend in or I didn't really, you know, I have this crazy kooky style, but I never really showed it to my fullest before, okay? Um, especially like... I lived in a smaller town, so, you know, people, they talk about you, they look at things, you know, and they're like, eh, they look at what you're wearing, you know, everybody's walking around in, like, sweatsuits, and I liked, you know, colorful things, right? Well, now I've been getting, I've been wearing those colorful things that I like. The other day I went shopping, and I bought this really awesome, like, furry purple coat, okay? Okay. <laughs> And it really stands out. And now it's like, I like standing out. I like wearing what I want to wear. I like 
doing the things I want to do, you know. Um, I, I don't mind that people are looking anymore. It's one of those things where dance, dance like no one is, is watching. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. It sets you free. There's no limitations on that, on how you, like, expressing yourself and your true style and the authenticity. And now, like, people are, like, I'll walk into a building with my purple coat on, and, yeah, people are turning around and looking at me, but I love it. I love it now. Whereas before, I maybe kind of was sheepish about it and shy about it and didn't want to attract that attention to myself. Now you're out here putting yourself out there and you're attracting attention to you like a magnet. Okay, there's something about this energy that's changing the whole dynamic of what's coming in for you as well. Okay, you could also have some kind of public platform. Um because you are in some kind of spotlight here, whether it's just moving through a building and catching all this attention and people staring at you, right? Um, you're turning heads out here, collective. But um, it could also be like a public speaking platform where a lot of people are seeing you around the world, like on the internet, okay? Um, but you're definitely on your path. The journey is the way. As I, as I walk, I embrace the journey. Yeah, see, you're embracing that beautiful style that you have, right? Or whatever this is, that um, it's making you feel good, empowered, confident. I am present in every moment. I accept happiness as well as suffering. I appreciate the blessings of today while dreaming of the victories of tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and I feel like you are being blessed. I feel like new things are starting to come towards you now. Yeah, it's like a gravitational pull towards you. I pursue excellence. I am not paralyzed by perfection, but my excellence is evident in every effort. This mindset pulls me or pulls success to me like gravity. Yes. Yes, all of these, all, whatever you're wishing for, keep those vibes high. Keep your confidence just like booming, okay? Um, show that personal style. Put yourself out there and show the world who you are and, and be confident in it and happy, you know? I walk with my, whole, my head held up high when I'm wearing that purple coat. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying, though? Um, yeah, so be you're you're um you're giving off this you're exuding this energy off of you um it, like confidence high vibes um pride like you're proud of yourself you're proud of who you are you're embracing who you are and you're putting it out there um you're not going to be suppressed when it comes to showing the world who you are okay i love this energy that you're having here it's and look and look as you as you are in this energy and you're moving forward and you're just you're just enjoying yourself okay embracing the real you right showing that to everybody else man in an enthusiastic way listen to my voice i'm like excited and happy about it right that's the kind of energy that you're pulling to you and here on the bottom of the deck is the wheel of fortune Okay, so things are, things are going to be turning in your favor, and you're working together with the universe to make this happen for yourself. Okay, so stay in this beautiful, confident energy. Go ahead and bloom. Bloom like crazy, collective, okay? <laughs> bloom like crazy. I'm to, what did I say about empowering? right? It's, a, it's making you feel very empowered. This could also be, you know, I'm taking this card back out. This could also be a time of celebration for you. I feel like spirit is celebrating you. You're feeling good about yourself, who you are. Um, you're embracing that beautiful style that you have. I absolutely love this for you. Like it's, <laughs> I'm totally into this energy for whoever you are. Yeah. You know, I feel like um, uh, as you move through your day, you just kind of have a bounce in your step. You may be keeping to yourself. You may not even notice that you're turning heads out here. 
um, but you're um, you're happy. You're you you may even be singing a little tune. I'm I'm hearing somebody humming. Okay, as you're walking along, you're like humming, you know. But you're kind of like still in your own little world as you move through the day, and you may not even notice that. Oh my gosh, you're attracting so much attention to you right now. You're attracting blessings to you right now. You're attracting new things and opportunities to you right now because of the energy that you're in. Oh my gosh, whoever you are, I love you. <laughs> I love you. Keep doing what you're doing, man. It's awesome. Oh boy. And look, somebody just took over your reading collective. Okay. <laughs> your person just completely took over your reading because they can't stop thinking about you. Um, and this is somebody that it's come to an end with. I feel like um, this is the closing of a cycle with someone and they want to come in and apologize. You could be dealing with a, a Pisces, maybe a Scorpio. Yeah, see, that now they feel like a fool. They want to put the work in now. Well, uh, you know, they can feel this energy off of you. When I say exuding energy... Let's just uh, put this in proper perspective, okay? Let's just say you're right here, where this little dot is on the mat. I hope you guys can see that. You're right here. When you walk through a room, let's think of it as a radius around you, okay? A radius. You're, um, you're giving off this energy that it, it feels like a sonic, like a sonic wave, of energy in that radius and anybody who's in near that radius can feel it okay and you're like the focal point you're the one who's giving off that energy as you move through the day that radius moves with you and everyone can feel that energy that you're exuding okay well this person I don't know maybe you have a real tight connection with them this may even be like a twin flame, a deep level soulmate connection, or this person could be in that vicinity, okay? You could be given off those vibes for miles, collective, okay? Think of it that way. I mean, honestly, um, this person can feel you. They can feel you disconnecting from them. They can feel you planning new things and new things coming in for you. They can feel the turn of this wheel in your favor. And the vibes that you're giving off are so strong. I feel like it's making someone feel threatened that you're going to get away. Because they know, they can also feel that you're attracting the attention of a lot of other people with the energy that you're in. They can feel all of this. I mean, your energy is so intense. You know, and now, so this is making this person feel afraid. They know that other people want you. They know you're out here turning heads just by walking into a building, you know, um, just by your energy. You don't have to have a purple coat. It's the energy. It's the way you feel about yourself. Um, yeah, see, it's making this person feel jealous. This has them very triggered. <laughs> All right. I feel like you're triggering a lot of people. Seriously, as you step into a building or walk through your day, you're triggering people to turn around and look at you. Um, you're, you're, you're stopping traffic, okay? Not just because of how beautiful you are, but that energy, you know? Um, you're distracting people because they can, and people can't get enough of this energy, okay? It feels very warm to them. They want that kind of energy you have. They crave it in their own lives. Do you know what it takes for a person? Everybody's kind of beat down by life right now. You know what it takes to have the kind of vibes you have? A lot of these people don't know how to get those kind of vibes. You're attracting the attention of so many people, and it's making your person go crazy. They're going crazy with jealousy right now because they want you. They're feeling very possessive, you know. I mean, who wouldn't want to possess that kind of energy that you're exuding? That's what I'm saying. It's so hard to reach. It's so hard to acquire. 
especially in, in this world. You know what I mean? That confidence, that humming as you walk, you know? Um, feeling good about yourself, feeling empowered, feeling strong, confident, poised, ready. And I feel like as you walk through your day, like I said, you just, you're facing forward here. I feel like you don't notice. You don't even notice, collective. <laughs> but this person's feeling very possessive of you. I just saw the four of, of pentacles. Um, they don't want to share you with anyone. They don't want to let you go. And I feel like a part of the problem for this person, the, one of the reasons they're going crazy is because they don't know what you're doing really in the background. I feel like you've had your, you've kept your moves hidden. Um, they may think that, uh, they may be thinking to, to themselves, oh, a person like the collective, there's no way they can still be single. They've got to be seeing someone. They've got to be seeing someone because this energy is driving me crazy, right? That's what they're saying to themselves. So they don't know if you're seeing someone else, if you're talking to someone else. Um, they don't know what you're doing. I feel like you've kept your moves pretty well hidden. They may be asking other people about you as well. This three of pentacles could be... Um, not just wanting to put the work in, but I feel like they are, um, it's collaborating with others. So they're trying to get information about you. Okay. It's, uh, they're completely clueless as to how you're doing what you're doing. I feel like you're growing something very abundant. You could be working on several different projects. Okay. Or, um, creating a new project. You could be very busy right now working on your finances, your stability. This person knows the scales are being balanced out and they're getting their karma right now. Um, they could have some addictions as well that's really starting to possibly affect their health or feel, making them feel very dragged down by a lifestyle. Um, they could have a lot of financial burdens right now as well. But I feel like I feel like they kind of they know that you're moving on. They know their their chances with you are slim to none. That they're gonna you know be able to restart something with you. And they're very burdened that you're about to get new love. See, this is what's on this person's mind. Oh my gosh, they are so obsessed with you. <gasps> they're so obsessed. And I feel like um, they're either watching you, spying on you, trying to get information, who you're talking to, who you're dating, because they think you're already dating someone, but you're keeping it a secret. That's what they're thinking. And they're just obsessed with this. Here's the thing. It's inevitable, though. It's inevitable. You're going to have new love. I feel like you do have new love coming in. It's going to lead to a commitment. You're about to meet someone new. Spirit's bringing someone new in for you. You know, and I feel like this person from your past, they are about to lose you to new love. I, I, I'm telling you, the way your energy is right now, I wish I could express to you just how much of a magnet you are pulling in like gravity um all of this new stuff and new people i wish i could tell you i wish i could walk with you through the day and say hey look that person just looked at you that person just looked at you that dude over there is staring at you <laughs> you know what i mean i wish i could um because i don't even think that you're aware of it okay i think that you're really into you right now as you should be. Um, and man, your energy is just absolutely amazing. But yes, you are about to get new love. And this person from your past, they're about to be crying over this um, because they're going to miss out on this blessing. See, I feel like, you know, this blessing, this is, a, this is the couple love, the Holy Grail couple love. And I feel like I feel like that's what you were. You were the holy grail couple love for this person, and they're realizing they missed out. When you were um, brought into their life, they turned their nose up at you, possibly focused on 
other people, third party situations. Okay, but they, they tossed you aside. They dismissed you. And now the spirit is like, well, you're going to be loved. The collective's going to be loved, like it or not. Here comes love for the collective, like it or not. And this new person, you're going to meet somebody new here. Um, it's going to lead to a commitment. Okay, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. All right, and the Justice card. I feel like scales are being balanced out for you. Um, you're ready for love. Yeah, look, it's going to lead to a major celebration. This is going to make you very happy, collective, okay? This new person coming into your life. And this past person, look at them. They're going to be a wounded warrior thinking about this possibly for the rest of their life, okay? What they missed, right? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, it's, it's coming to their attention that you're moving on. Boy, is this person in a lot of regret. Yep, you're having this new beginning and they're brokenhearted. You could have been dealing with a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe an Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio. You could possibly be a Leo, a Libra, heavy Leo energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy Cancer energy as well. They're in a lot of regret. Yep, you were the Holy Grail Couple Love Collective and they lost you. You are, in fact, about to get new love because that's what you're attracting. You know, you're, um, and it's like you, you've got this loving energy for yourself, so you're attracting. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, so since you're putting so much love into yourself right now and keeping those positive vibes, you're attracting a positive love into your life. So this person's totally right. They're going to lose you to someone else. Um, I feel like um, they want to come and apologize, but I don't know. Something stops them. They may have some kind of delay or a blockage, um, a roadblock in their way. They're feeling like a complete fool, but you're you're getting away collective okay you're moving forward you're moving on you're putting the cycle this all the pains and the troubles from the last cycle behind you so get ready for this new love that's coming in it's somebody that spirit is bringing in for you and it is going to lead to a commitment because you're worthy of a commitment and you deserve a commit you deserve a committed relationship Someone who's going to be loyal and dedicated to you. Oh, there's a lot in this collective, but um, yeah, anyway. Yeah, look, on the bottom of the deck, I didn't even see it. You've got a King of Pentacles coming in. This person's all about commitment. They're all about being loyal, grounded, stable, dedicated. Look at this. I'm telling you. <laughs> Anyway, my darlings, um, don't forget to like and subscribe, right? Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.